Hello everyone, Margaret's here, and this is Keeping It Real, where you get candid and practical tips to help you boost your self-confidence, build your career, and tame your hectic work schedule so you can live a fulfilled and successful life. Today, I'm going to be talking about overcoming adversity, five ways to handle it, and still enjoy living. I'm going to start off with a quote today by Chris Grosser. Opportunities don't happen, you create them. The first way you can overcome adversity is to look at each challenge as an opportunity to learn and grow. As we know, each and every one of us makes mistakes, and that's okay because with each failure, there's an opportunity to succeed. Look at each of these failures and see what valuable lessons that can be learned from it. From that, we are capable of modifying our behavior, changing the way we think, and developing better habits so that we are able to propel ourselves forward. The second way we are able to overcome adversities is to believe in yourself. If you expect for your supervisor and your colleagues to trust and believe in you, you must first believe in yourself. You must first feel that you are worthy, that you are capable, that you have all the necessary knowledge, skills, and abilities to persevere, that you are resilient, that you are enough. There are going to be times in which you can't maybe see your way clear, but also you may realize that you have a specific weakness that you can't complete a specific assignment. However, knowing all the members of your team, knowing their strengths, you are capable of going over and talking to one of your colleagues and say, hey, I have an issue here and I'm not able to figure it out on my own. Can you assist me? Believing in yourself, you have the capability of tapping your colleague on the shoulder and saying, hey, can you please come over here and help me? Because helping each other, you're helping yourself. A third way of overcoming obstacles is to focus on the positive. When we're surrounded by nothing but negativity and chaos, there is something positive to be seen in that. Because as they said, behind every cloud, there is a rainbow, there is a silver lining. And if you take that situation and you step back and look at it from afar, you can see some positive remnants in it. And what can be gained from that is by looking at it in a positive way and keep persevering and keep moving forward. We're going to have struggles and we're going to have ups and downs. That's a part of life. But it's how we get through these difficult times that makes a difference to overcome adversities is to have a plan B. In every given situation, there is many ways in which things can turn out because things always don't turn out the way we want them to. And that's just a part of life. But being able to have a backup plan just in case something doesn't go as planned, that we can be resilient and persevere with our backup plan in place and keep moving forward. Because this is how we make it through difficult times. The fifth way in which we can overcome adversities is to develop healthy habits. Some of those healthy habits would include physical fitness, meditation, journaling, healthy eating, and having 
a positive support system to fall back on. By developing these healthy habits, we're able to reduce our stress level. We're able to, to remain positive through the midst of uncertainty. And we're able to weather the storm because there will be storms and there may be disruptions and things uh, being destroyed in, in this pathway of the storm. But knowing that anything materialistic can be replaced and looking at the lessons we learn from these storms and these pitfalls will help us to become the person that we were meant to be. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share it if you found it helpful. Please feel free to leave me a comment or ask a question and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Click on the icon bell to get notified when I upload a new video. I usually upload a new video every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you so much for watching.